Just about a year and a half ago, I swapped out my wife's very mediocre Windows laptop with a clean and simple Mac mini setup. And today, I'm gonna take it all away and again, completely redo her setup, this time going from the M1 Mac mini back to a laptop. But because she has fully transitioned to the Mac and Apple ecosystem, the laptop is the 2021 14 inch MacBook Pro featuring the M1 Pro SoC, which I picked up from Best Buy because it was on sale for $1,600 or 400 off the MSRP. This new setup should give her a great productivity workspace while also giving her the ability to untether from her desk when she wants to. I'm also gonna try to free her from her dual screen dependency. Am I gonna get a home run with this setup or am I sleeping on the couch tonight? Let's find out. It's the money. Hey guys, welcome to Elevated Systems. I'm your host CJ and some of y'all remember when I sprung this new setup on my wife. And happy birthday Times Day. I don't want to look at your eyes. What? Happy birthday Times Day. Typical reaction, but her overall opinion was, oh my God, it's too much. The sense of deja vu came over me. But since then, the setup has gotten even more. The two 22 inch 1080p monitors have been replaced with these two 28 inch 4K displays. Our dog ate her iClever mouse, so she got an Apple Magic Mouse and Keyboard. And Heidi, the African door frog has joined the family. But back to the, it's too much. Today, we're gonna streamline this setup by removing all of this stuff and replacing it with just some because all of the rest can be replaced by the 2021 base model 14 inch MacBook Pro. If you want more details on this MacBook, I just reviewed it alongside the new M2 MacBook Air, so be sure to check that video out. But right now, I need to tear all this apart, set up the new stuff, and hope my wife doesn't kill me. No pressure. Also, because I got the MacBook for $400 off, I want to try to keep the cost of the rest of the setup to $400 or under. That way, we end up with an entire MacBook Pro desk setup for the original MSRP of the MacBook. Let's see if we can do it. Since we're going from two displays to one, I want to give her as much green real estate as possible without overloading the desk like the 228 inch displays did. So I'm going with the Samsung SJ55W, a 34 ultra wide QHD monitor or widescreen 3440 by 1440 p display. I'm not gonna go through all the specs, but I will say that at just 75 Hertz, it's not the best gaming monitor, but it does have a good resolution density for productivity work and 34 inch WQHD monitors scale perfectly on Mac OS, so a bonus. But the strongest point of this monitor is the price. I get this one used on eBay for $211 and you can find them for even cheaper than that or you can pick one up brand new for just under $300. I'm mounting this on a dual arm Visa mount, dual mount because on the second arm I'm attaching this Visa laptop tray. This is a solid steel tray which connects to all four points of the 100 millimeter Visa mount, not just with two screws like many you'll find and it only cost $18. It is of course where the MacBook will live hopefully securely and floating right next to the main display, she can technically have that second display because let's be real, I couldn't bring myself to use a clamshell dock solution when the MacBook has such a great display. And there are other big benefits to this as far as peripheral needs. So let's look at the peripherals. She's currently using the Apple Magic Keyboard and Mouse, but she doesn't really like either one. She prefers her peripherals to have a little more girth something that has a good solid feel in her hand and she really likes full-size keyboards something with a number pad so we're going with a keychron k4 this is a 96 percent 100 key keyboard so it gives her the number pad but saves a little extra space on her desk it's bluetooth or wired it's a mac layout hot swappable gateron red switches and she really likes the soft touch double shot keycaps. For a mouse, we got a simple Logitech M510 because her only requirements are bigger and a scroll wheel. Done and done. There are the extra side and forward back buttons that can be reprogrammed if she wants. It's also on sale for 20 bucks. And that's it, nothing else required because the MacBook already has the webcam, microphone, and speakers that I removed from the old setup which means I met my goal with only a dollar to spare. Now, 
Thanks to all the ports, I can connect everything directly to the MacBook and it works, but that's kind of unsightly and really awkward solution when you try to move the laptop. So I want to give her a single cable solution, which means I'm going to blow that $400 budget, but not by much. For a simple setup like this, you don't need a big expensive Thunderbolt dock. I can get all the expandability I need with this $35 7-in-1 USB-C hub. It gives us up to 4K 60Hz display output, two 5 gigabit USB-A ports, SD and micro SD readers, and even gigabit ethernet. It also has up to 100 watt power delivery, and because the MacBook can also be powered through the USB-C ports, which I can actually power with the MacBook power brick, we now have a very affordable single cable solution. Another excellent single cable solution way to go is if you can spend an extra few hundred dollars is with an LG 34 inch WQHD WN80C-B. That display has USB-C connectivity with power delivery and USB expandability. So it's a display and hub in one really. I would probably have gone with that, but my wife doesn't like curved monitors, so we got a flat one. Anyway, I guess since I already busted the budget, I can add a couple more things, which are recycled from her old setup. First is the BenQ Light Bar Plus, which is actually a review sample that BenQ sent over a while back, so no real cost to me, except the days of testing, filming, editing. But when I upgraded to the Screen Bar Halo, I added this to her setup, and now I can't take it away. And I also can't take away her wireless phone charger because that was in fact her favorite part of the original setup. I don't even know what these things go for brand new. I'm pretty sure the charger was like 20 bucks and I'm gonna depreciate the monitor light because it was a year used before she got it. So you can probably find these things used for about a hundred bucks. So we'll call it a $550 setup, which is still pretty good and brings the total cost to about $2,150. If you get everything brand new, that'd be about 2270, but ultimately the overall cost isn't the important part. I mean, it's my wife. The important part is, how's she gonna like the fact that I tore apart and redid her setup for the second time in less than two years? I guess it's time to find out. Whoa! <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Well, I have a keyboard here, not there, so that's fine. Bigger. What that one's too big, that one's little and that one's too big. It's not the same size. Yeah, but I guess I can split the screen in half. Soft. Softer. More clicky. Yeah. Like an actual keyboard. It's bigger than the than the other mouse. I guess I have to do this now. Now my finger, instead of here, now it has to go over here. <laughs> I thought you wanted the scroll wheel. I did, until I got the other, I had the other mouse. So now you like the magic mouse better? Yes. But that's all right, I'll get used to this one. Uh, okay, then I guess I, guess I failed. <laughs> well, I guess that's a fail, right? She doesn't like the big little display setup. She doesn't like the mouse. The only thing she liked was the keyboard. She didn't even seem really excited about the whole thing. But full disclosure, this time wasn't actually a surprise. She saw my last video, so she knew about the MacBook and she's seen all the other components and she's actually been through the room several times when I was setting it all up and while she's one of the smartest and most articulate people I know she's extremely camera shy and she definitely can't act so despite her forced reaction as she spent the next hour or so using the system she did in fact start to get used to it she liked all the key cron control functions she really liked the camera quality and got some FaceTime calls in She was impressed with the adjustability of the floating laptop and the fact that it is a laptop. She was most impressed with how seamless the transition from one Mac to another was. All her stuff was just there like it was. And not all the hardware had changed. Despite what my wife thinks, Heidi found it extremely fascinating and wants to remind you to like and subscribe. 
Did you find it as engaging as Heidi, or did you have some issues like my wife? What would you keep, or what would you change? Let us know in the comments, and I hope to catch you in the next one.